Okay, welcome back everyone. Um, come along and get higgy with us. It's getting higgy with it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there's a Will Smith song that's uh, getting jiggy with it. And so this is, uh, you know, the getting, jig getting higgy with it. Okay. It's supposed to be higga, but it's getting higgy with it. So welcome back. We're gonna do some All more right. questions. If you're interested, just keep watching. If not, um, we're sorry. <laughs> then I'm sorry. <laughs> this one's not for you. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Mm -hmm. If you had to change your name, what would your new name be? Um, I had some, oh, Holiday. I saw a couple kids named Holiday. That's in, pretty cool. In some elementary schools recently. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. If I had my choice, if I had, if I could have, I would have named all my kids cool names like that. Like Journey, Sunshine, Holiday. Keely's not too shabby. But I wasn't allowed. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Um, no, I wouldn't change my name. Um, my first name, Mom was pregnant when she had read Gone with the Wind, and there's a character in there and she, that she named me after, Melanie. And my middle name is uh, Harold. It's H-E-R-A-L-D. She was going to name me after one of her three brothers, John, Carl, or Harold, and she decided on Harold. And it's the Harold is from Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love my name. Very unique. Mm -hmm. Very cool. What was worth waiting for? Um, just stuff. And we don't even need that much stuff, but just anything we wanted, we had to save for. And my dad, when I was young, taught all of his kids, and you too, Mom. But he said, if you don't have cash to pay for or something, you don't buy it. And so we have always been frugal and uh, we just bought stuff when we had money or we just went without. And um, a lot of other people were buying bigger houses and fancy cars and we live in an older home with older cars because a lot of my extra money goes into a travel fund and that's how we are able to travel. If you could do it all over again, would you change anything? Yes, I would have worked on self-confidence a long time ago. However, that would have happened. Long story. <clears throat> but I wish I wouldn't have waited until my mid-40s to get where I am now. But that's the way it happens. And you're in a good place. Yeah, so who can complain? Right. How about you? Um. What was the question? <laughs> yeah, My husband and I got married young, and we had our babies young. And, um, sometimes I think it would have good. It have been good to go get some formal education, as in college, finish high school, but um, college. But I have been a voracious reader my whole life, so I have. That's been my education. But yeah, you look back and you think. <clears throat> Maybe I should have made some different decisions, and then you think, no, this is this is a fine life that I've lived. And this is just my own thinking, of course, and these are the questions that I'm being asked, but happiness without... Sadness. Sadness. Um, having a family, having children, having grandchildren, there's a happiness in your heart that nobody in this position can explain. But there's a sadness to it too. Um, my grandchildren were very much a part of my life. Thank you, my darling girl. Um, and then they got older and it, it, I find it funny because I look at albums when they're little and they're so darling and they're old now, which is natural, just talked about that. But sometimes it's hard for me to look at them. It was such a wonderful time in my life when I had all those little twerps around. So the happiness is having them they're my heart. I've, I've always told them, you're my heart. But the sadness is that they start living that life again that we were talking about earlier, their own lives. And you don't see them as much. Um, you know that they love you, but they're busy with their own lives. And, and sometimes, not often, but sometimes that can be a little tiny bit sad. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, grieving the stages of the past. Yep. And, uh...